Hello friends, it's me, Mrs. Itis, and we are going to do some winter subtraction today. Now this page is inside of your Work for Mrs. Itis Lessons packet. So you're going to go ahead and find the winter subtraction page. Good job. And we are going to solve winter subtraction problems today by crossing out the numbers that we hear in our subtraction sentence and then write the answer on the line. We will also use our crayons to color how many mittens are left over or how many scarves or hats, any of the winter things that are left over. Okay, friends, so make sure you have your cubes, your pencil, of course I'm using my crayon to show you a little bit better, and some crayons to go ahead and color the objects that are left over after we subtract. Are you ready? Let's begin. Here are some mittens. We use mittens in the winter to keep our hands warm. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's put our six on top. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six mittens. And now my sentence is showing me that I need to take away two because the sentence I'm trying to solve is six minus two. So I have to take one, two away. That means I'm going to cross those mittens out. Good job, friends. How many mittens do I have left over? Let's count the cubes. One, two, three, four. Let's check our work. One, two, three, four. That's right. Six minus two equals four. Let's go ahead and color those four mittens that are left over. You can use any color you like. And we want to show that four mittens are left over. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Excellent. Now we are going to solve for eight minus five. So let's make sure we have eight scarves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great, that means I need eight cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, friends. Do you have your eight cubes? Eight cubes for eight scarves. Our subtraction sentence says we are going to take away five. Eight minus five. One, two, three, four, five. So we have to cross five scarves out. One, two, three, four, five. How many scarves are left over? One, two, three. Let's check. One, two, three. Excellent. Eight minus five equals three. Let's color those scarves. Just the three that are left. One, two, three. Great job. All right. Now we have some caps some beanies. We have four. One, two, three, four. And in my subtraction sentence, I read four minus three. That means I have to take three away. One, two, three. Let's cross them out. One, two, three. How many are left over, friends? Yes, one. We see that very quickly, don't we? Four minus three equals one. Go ahead, color the cap that's left over. Any color you like. Great job, friends. Let's keep subtracting with our winter subtraction sentences. Ooh, do you know what these are? You put them on your head, they keep your ears warm. They are called ear muffs. So we have five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, just like the sentence says. One, 
two, three, four, five. Five all together. Now we're going to take away one. Five minus one. Crisscross. How many earmuffs are left, friends? One, two, three, four. Let's check. One, two, three, four. That's right. Five minus one equals four. Go ahead, pick your color, and let's color those earmuffs. Remember, friends, if the videos ever go too quickly for you, you can always, always go back, push pause, watch the videos again, because they're here for you all week. There we go. Four earmuffs are left over. Great job. Oh, does anybody know what these are? Yes, ice skates. To skate in the ice rink or on a frozen pond. We have seven all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's put the cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And our sentence says seven minus four. So we have to take four of them away. One, two, three, four. Cross them out, friends. One, two, three, four. Seven minus four equals, how many left over? One, two, three. One, two, three, that's right. Seven minus four equals three. We are almost done, but first we have to color our little ice skates. Choose any color you like. Good job. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay, we have some pine trees. Whoa, there's a lot. There are eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, it's always good to check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, eight all together. How many are we going to take away? Three, that's right, eight minus three. One, two, three. Let's cross out three. One, two, three. How many pine trees are left all together? One, two, three, four, five. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Eight minus three equals five. Let's go ahead and color them in. Just the five that are left over. One, two, three, four, Five. Great job, friends. One more. And this uses all 10 cubes. All right, 10 mittens. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 cubes. But we're going to take a lot of them away. How many, friends? Six. 10 minus six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cross those six out. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many mittens are left? One, two, three, four. Are we right? One, two, three, four. That's good. 10 minus six equals four. Let's go ahead and color those four little mittens. Here's one, two, three, and four. Excellent work, friends. Thank you for helping me solve these winter subtraction stories. Let's go ahead and say all of them one more time before we say bye-bye. Let's read the subtraction sentence. Here we go, starting at the top. Six minus two equals four. Eight minus five equals six, three. Four minus three equals one. 
5 minus 1 equals 4. 7 minus 4 equals 3. 8 minus 3 equals 5. 10 minus 6 equals 4. Thank you, friends. Practice reading these subtraction sentences. It's very important, just like when we learn how to read words, we need to learn how to read subtraction sentences and addition sentences too. See you tomorrow, friends. Bye-bye.